Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Xavier and in this video, I am going to be doing something completely different for my channel. I'm going to be showing you how to get better arena clips. I've noticed that a lot of people actually have problems getting clips for their Fortnite montages. Since not everyone knows how to get clips perfectly. And since I'm grinding for clips basically my entire day, I'm going to be showing you the best tips and tricks on how to get them. So if you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and like as it does help out a ton. And you can also use my supporter creator code Xavier in the Fortnite item shop all right we can immediately start with the first point and that is the spaz obviously if you want to hit a clip you want to have a spaz that is the most important thing can do it with pumps you can do it with tack you can basically clip with every single gun but i feel like the best clips are one pumps with a spaz so now you all are probably wondering how do i get a spaz in arena and that's where we get to our second point the loot route and the drop spot making sure you have a loot route and a good drop spot is also important for clips yes it sounds stupid but it's also very important so you don't waste your time and just die off spawn every single game so there's good pois there's good normal spots where you can get a spaz focus on getting a spaz off spawn getting it quick we want to get the spaz as quick as possible so we can go for clips so the one pi is believe a beach if you want to go there this is going to be a bit hard because in believe a beach you will be contested off spawn every single game sometimes you might be very very lucky not being contested but you will get contested like 90 percent out of the time I'm going to talk about why you would land in Believer Beach and why you should at least try doing it. As some of you know, the bot in Believer Beach is selling pumps. It's always selling pumps or nothing. That is a 50-50% chance on what you get. So it's always random what you get there. Sometimes it sells a legendary spaz. Sometimes it sells a purple spaz. Sometimes it sells a blue pump. And also sometimes it's selling nothing all right and there you go that is why you should go believe a beach i'm going to be telling you the best drop spots in believe a beach and best route routes you can go so first of all i would start off by landing on the main building um if you secure that you can basically win off spawn very very easily you win off spawn most of the times so if you're a good player and you land on main and you secure that you gotta then try winning off spawn once you have that done you want to make sure you go over to the bridge and on the bridge you got to look out for the bot then you're going to interact with the bot and it's going to tell you what it sells here is what the problem is say it sells a golden spaz you have a golden spaz that is 250 gold how do you get it how do you get all that gold i can tell you right now that you will find the gold no matter what in believer beach so first of all to get the gold i would go to the laundry room that is very known by martos you will get from 50 to 130 gold there about you just farm all the laundries and then you go to another laundry spot which you will find on the other side of sweaty which you're seeing right now on screen you just go on that and then you will get another 70 gold plus you are at 200 now now you're gonna get the last 50 and there is a another laundry spot and you will be finding that at the camping place you just go to that and go into that house and you will find another laundries if you somehow still don't have the gold what i want you to go ahead and do is go into the main building back again and farm all the benches to get the max gold once you have that done you can now buy your spaz your gold spaz your pump whatever i also want to mention that for a blue pump you will need 50 gold for a purple one you will need 100 gold and for a gold one you will need 250 gold all right and when we're talking about the loot route i also want to talk about how you actually loot this point might be obvious to most of you but you actually got to farm up mats this is really important you got to make sure you have mats you have ammo because you obviously as it sounds stupid but you obviously need that for a clip as well so make sure you have mats before you push someone and i don't recommend keying someone with like a hundred so if you look around believe a beach underneath the bridge you will find a lot of brick and there's also a pond next to believe a beach on there you will find wood and stone and you will definitely have max wood and stone you also want to make sure you are warmed up so what i would do is just warm up every single time you get on obviously you have to do that as well to get clips and the best thing i found to do that is do the noah Rayleigh really tactic to warm up and you crank around without switching off your quick bar so you basically just stay in edit mode when editing. Um, this helps out a ton for clips and you don't switch to your pickaxe while editing since many people are doing that and you shouldn't. You really shouldn't do that. All right, and once you have that done, you can then move out. Now I want to talk about the second spot, which is going to be a lot more uncontested and where you will not find a spaz every single time, but you will find some guns. So there's two spots. The first one is the alien spot in the middle, not the UFO spot, the big one. I'm talking about the alien spot on the mountain 
which I'm going to be showing you on screen right now. You can drop there and there will be two henchman chests that could give you a really good gun talking about a spaz. Not all of the time, but they could give you that and you don't get contested this hard as a believer. So now once you have heard all of that, you're probably thinking, yeah, that's all great. But what do I do if I'm not good enough to get clips? So for this thing, you will need mechanics and aim. To do that, what I want you to go ahead and do is maybe follow my next videos on how to get better aim and mechanics. But there's so many videos where you can learn mechanics and get better aim. And you should definitely try out them to get better aim and mechanics. That is a really important step since you need that. All right, and then we are done with the loot routes and the mechanics and the aim. So now you have the spaz and you run into mid game and you want to start clipping the people. So to get these clips, what I usually do is I first find scenarios. So for this, I'm most of the times just W keying. There's two ways of getting clips. There's one way you box fight someone or you W key him. If you W key someone, you want to make sure you just don't just run in. You want to key him smart. You want to key him in a smart way and don't just immediately die. So what I usually do is I find a scenario first. What I mean by that, you find a possible chance on getting a clip. So for that, you have to have some high ground retakes or uh, mechanics in your head to actually use them in the game. So what you do is you learn them, like I said, in tutorial there's so many online but you want to make sure you find the scenario first so you check can i clip this guy is there three guys am i third party and can i clip him if you don't just worry about the clip you can also just decide to kill them like just killing them gives you also more loot more mats maybe and then you can check the next one and maybe clip that guy that is basically how to find scenarios and stuff and how to get better clips now i want to get to the last point if everything didn't work you can't drop you always die off spawn you can't clip someone you don't find enemies the best way i found for people that can clip on high points is basically making yourself an alt account an alt account is an account that resets your arena points basically so you do an alt account and on zero points most of the people are not that good at the game and you can just try clipping them they will be not try harding and they will not win against you most of the times so if you're a decent player so for alt accounts you can obviously just go ahead in the epic games account and make yourself a new account or you can also get someone else's account I don't know with a couple of skins or make a new account and buy a couple of skins whatever that is up to you but if everything didn't work i feel like getting an alt account is the best choice for you to get clips yeah that's what i usually do as you've seen on screen you've seen a couple of my clips and yeah all right and that is basically it for how to get better clips at fortnite competitive if you enjoyed this video then make sure to comment down below like and subscribe as it does help at the ton also use my code in the item shop saver i see you in the next one have a good one Peace.